I'm excited. I hope everyone is excited, man. We still letting people in. Um, let's go ahead and close out the chat. All right, guys. All right. So I think I thank you guys again for being here tonight. You could have been anywhere else, but just to be here with us, we're gonna make sure we make your time wide. And just to respect your time, people are still trying to get in. I'm gonna go ahead and bring as many people in as, as possible. I want you guys to do two things. I want you to take notes. I want you to take devious notes. And as soon as you're done with those notes and listening to the best part, I want you to make sure you reach back out to the person that got you on this webinar. And I want you to thank them from the bottom of your heart because you're going to see why in the next few minutes. But I'm going to go ahead and move myself out of the way. And I'm going to bring in an individual that, man, it's personal for me. And the reason it's personal because I believe that a lot of the times in business, people that we go in business with turn out to be family at the end. This individual, I met her and her, and her husband uh, through these services. And believe it or not, now we turn out to be family. I've seen this person grow so much. I've seen them grow through this business, then go into the real estate, blow up the business as well. She is a mom. So for all the women out there, men, kudos to you ladies. You girls run the world. There's no secret. But I love the fact that not only is she out there helping people on a day-to-day -day basis, she's making sure that even the people that think cannot be helped, are being helped and her heart has shown it. This person is amazing. She's an amazing mom, amazing leader. And today she's here with us to share what literally catapult her, her business to the next level all because of a single tool that she added to her portfolio. With that being said, I'm gonna move myself out of the way. Do we have Vice President Liz Fanfan -Fan on the line today? Yes, I am here. Can you hear me okay, Manny? I hear you loud and clear. Go ahead and take it away, boss lady. I definitely want to give it back to you. Thank you so much for hosting and coming on. And I want to say thank you to everyone who joined us. Tony, we have about 200 people on this chat. So um, let me go ahead and introduce myself and we'll go ahead and dive into the information. Uh, my name is Liz Fanfan -Fan and I'm a realtor based in the Tampa Bay area where the Bucks won. So we are in a fabulous area. Um, I'm also a vice president with FES. So a little background about myself. I actually started with FES first. I started as a client. I used the services for myself because I at the time was trying to purchase a home four years ago. I wasn't sure, you know, if these services were going to work, but once I saw that they worked, I knew that this was something that I could do and that I wanted to help people. So that was back in uh, 2017. I was able to purchase my first home that is a duplex that I got for under $100,000, y'all. Now you can't find these kind of deals, but I was able to find that in an opportunity zone area. I can use this verbiage now because I have realtors on here. And um, it has proven to be a great investment because I was able to get my credit in order to purchase that property. And then I was like, hey, I have a lot of people who want to purchase a house. So why not get my license? And I saw Tony killing it. I saw a lot of other agents um, who are realtors and FES killing it. I was like, well, I can do this too. So I went ahead, I took my test and I passed it and I've been licensed for over two years now. I've been doing it full time with FES and this, this is all that I do um, with my husband. So we are full 10, 1099 employees. We definitely work for ourselves. The reason we decided to add real estate was because we had so many clients who wanted to purchase a home. And we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about, let me share my screen so you guys can see my slides. We're also gonna talk about how you can make this business work together. Because we have had a lot of agents say, how can I make this work together? What can I do? And since I started, like I said, as an agent with FES First and I got my license and I've been doing very well with real estate, I'm like, you know what, let's do a webinar. I literally came to Eugene, I said, hey, I think we should reach out to Tony, let's do a, web a webinar for realtors to show them how they can work this business together. Because the reason we get into real estate right? It's so that you can make great income because it's definitely a market, but so that you can also build generational wealth, purchase property, buy the block, whatever your goals are, you got into real estate for a reason. And 
however you were introduced to FBS, you also got into that for a reason. So I'm a strong believer that nothing just happens, that, you know, everything happens for a reason. I am so grateful for these businesses. Last year, I had a baby, it was COVID, it was shut down, and I was still closed. I closed way more deals than I thought I was going to even during a pandemic. So I was very excited about the numbers I was able to do um, with both. I'm a six-figure earner with FBS, and now we're going to go ahead and dive into the information and then um, at the end, we'll do a little Q&A. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and jot it down or put it in the chat and we'll go ahead and make sure we get to those at the end of the webinar. Um, so I want you guys to think about how do you convert your leads? Like, are you utilizing social media? Now I want you to put on the hat of a real estate agent, right? So I'm assuming we have some individuals who are not in real estate and that's fine, but this will apply to anybody. What social platforms are you using? Are you taking advantage of the free services that are out there? How can you leverage social media to convert leads? I'm gonna tell you right now, I get a lot of leads from me personally on Instagram. I know some people say they use Facebook. I use both, but I get a lot of leads off of sharing things on my story, posting, um, putting memes, things that are funny about the market. And I can't tell you how many, how much engagement I get off of that. So if you're not using social media enough, and I'll admit I don't use social media enough, but I have a few. I've gotten a few buyers off of there. I literally people who message me that I've never met before. So I want you guys to think about it. If you're able to share information about a house, you can share information about credit at the same time. Because I know that you're going through your sphere of influence. Who are you talking to saying, hey, um, are you looking to purchase a home? You can also say, hey, how's your credit? Do you know anyone who needs less than perfect credit? Because you're already putting yourself out there. And how do you lead generate? This question I'm just going to leave open-ended. I want you to think about it. What are you doing to generate your leads for real estate? And we're going to talk about that. I know um, Tony's going to touch on that um, on his portion of the presentation. So I wanted to bring this up because, um, again, we're going to be very specific to realtors. The top reasons the home purchase applications were denied in 2019, but we know that these, this is still true. We have debt to income credit history, collateral, credit app incomplete, unverifiable info, insufficient cash. Y'all, in 2020, I can't tell you how many people were able to purchase a home even during the pandemic. Yes, unfortunately, there were people who no longer qualified, but there were a lot more people who were able to qualify. Oops, my slides are moving. So when you think about this, yeah, for the realtors, I want you to ask yourself this question. What is the number one reason that a client comes to you that they don't qualify? For me personally, it's credit. And then the second thing is they don't have enough money for a down payment or they're looking to um, go through a down payment assistant program, which there's nothing wrong with that. But we just know that that's a longer process to get that money. And so for me, those are my top two, how my I have a lot in that area that I'm still working with, that I'm nurturing, that I'm following up with. But those are my reasons for the clients who I've sent and I've had them submit the application. It was they don't have a great credit score. And you know, when COVID happened, they were changing what the requirements were, right? I had some client, I had a client who was this close to not qualifying. Fortunately, she was able to because, you know, with 580 FHA, I know there were some people who were still doing it. But Traditionally, a lot of people raise that score with COVID and she was this close to not being able to qualify for a home. But luckily, we were able to get her closed out in December because her score actually went down, um, but she was still able to qualify. So I want you to write that down. What are the reasons that your clients who come to you say they want to purchase? Let's say you go ahead and you get them with your lender. How is it or, or what do you do once they get denied? What are you doing with those clients? Or how is your follow up? What are the reasons that they're denied? Are you still continuing to work with them? Because I want you guys to understand that this business with FBS, but in real estate in general, you want to make sure you're following up with those customers because I can tell you. I have had it happen to me when I first started out. I had some people that I was like, oh, they said they're not ready. I'll follow up. And I just, you know, didn't have my system in place and I did not follow up. And then when I did follow up, she had already purchased a home with someone else. So that's that hurt, but I'm not going to, you know, put that on anybody else. That was two years ago. 
when I wasn't sure what I was doing with real estate. But now I want you guys to put in there, what is your reasons why your homes are closing? What is your follow-up, your follow-through and what's going on with those clients? So write that down. And if you have any questions, we'll address it at the end. So I wanted to bring up a testimony right here. This is a friend of mine. I love her dearly. She's also a client with FBS. She got started with the services. And I, the reason why I want to bring her up is because I actually met her through FBS. So this business can really expose you to a lot of different people. So I met her um, through FBS. She's an agent with us and she saw tremendous results. I'll let her talk about her results. But this is us last year, right? When she was, when we picked out the lot, they decided on the lot that they wanted and they closed on their beautiful brand new new construction home last August. And this, this is um, Eileen and Carl Chambers. I'm going to go ahead and have Eileen come up to share her testimony of what it's like with, you know, what it's been like for her with the company, what it did for her and how they're enjoying their new home, what they got for less than 3% interest rate. Eileen, are you on the call? You can unmute yourself if you, I know I saw him. I am, can you hear me? Yes, I can, loud and clear. You look fabulous. <laughs> Thanks, Boo. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, um, I definitely gotta give it back to you. This training is fire. Um, it's definitely something that uh, people in our industry uh, need, right? Uh, it's definitely something that I needed. So um, what's up everyone? Uh, like she said, my name is Eileen Chambers. I'm out here in Tampa, Florida. And we met through FES, like she said. Um, I started off as a client before I really took the business opportunity uh, seriously. Um, I found this information just like most people on social media through a good friend that uh, I went to high school with. And um, I really just needed the services, wasn't looking for the business opportunity whatsoever. Um, back in 2014, I went through a really big financial hardship and it tanked my credit. And you know, in 2017, I was ready to take that step in finding a house, but unfortunately, I didn't qualify, right? <laughs> um, my realtor told me, go fix your credit and, uh, and come back. <laughs> so um, I did just that. I got into the program and within 60 days, my credit score went up over 114 points. Um, I continued to work through my, you know, my credit and increase my finances. And like Liz said, um, she was my awesome realtor at that time. Uh, I closed on my home just last year in the middle of the pandemic at less than 3%. And it's all been due to this program, right? Um, but when I found this program, the, the interesting part about it, guys, is I'm a loan officer with USAA. Um, I do consumer loans. And my upline, when I reached out to her for credit repair, didn't even know that, right? Um, and I, like I said, wasn't looking for the business opportunity. I, I have a great career of where I'm at. But when I saw my increases, when I saw my score go up 114 points and put me in a better situation, um, I, you know, I knew that I could help a lot of people. I knew that if it helped me, I could put other people in a position. And it made only made sense because of the industry that I was already in to, you know, go ahead and expand on the business opportunity. And right now, I'm actually in the process of becoming a realtor myself. So I'm in classes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and be licensed by this year. And guys, it just makes sense, right? You know, everyone needs our services. Um, it goes hand in hand with what we're already doing, and we're already talking to the clients that need us, right? So. Um, it's definitely been a phenomenal journey. Um, I, I love our, our company. I love our services. I love what it does. And I'm so, so grateful um, for what we do. So thank you for you know, having me on Liz tonight to be able to share my testimony. And this is awesome. Keep rocking. Awesome. Thank you so much, Eileen, my friend, for sharing that. The reason why I also wanted Eileen to come up on here is because I know we see the post online, like, okay, we see this person bought a house, we'll see that their scores are, but I want you guys to see that this is actually the person in the picture. These are real testimonies. These are real people. Right. So thank you again for sharing. Congratulations. And I just want to share with you guys, she got it less than 3%. 
um, she's coming up on a year this summer, the rates have gone up. The rates are in the 3% now. Like she has so much equity in that house because she was able to purchase it because of this program. So I hope you are enjoying your home. And so here, I just wanna go over um, the UCS protection plan roadmap. So I know um, you guys are all familiar with the services and how everything works, but I just wanna make sure that you're fully utilizing the program for your clients. Right. So it's not just about them sending the dispute letters and, you know, getting the, the items moved off of their credit profile. But you want to make sure that they're activating everything, because if this is a client that comes to me and they say they want to purchase a home, I'm going to follow up with them. And I do this for all of my clients. So I'm going to make sure, OK, this is where you're starting at. Have you sent your letters? This is when your dispute letters came out. Did you activate the smart credit? Did you activate the identity protection? Are you uh, working on your outstanding debt? Because there are clients who don't qualify because they have so much debt. There is a program that will help them to pay down their debt faster um, through the debt payoff system. So this is a roadmap. It gives you a time frame of 12 months. This doesn't mean that they're going to be on the services for 12 months, but I want to make sure that you guys are aware it's not an overnight fix. It's not an overnight thing. You know, right now, closing time can be, what, 45, 60 days if it's not cash because, I mean, I think it's a little faster now, but back in a few months ago, everything was pretty much backed up. So right now, you guys want to make sure that these individuals are taking advantage, that you're following up with them, um, and that they're really following through with the roadmap that is provided for them in their login, okay? And we actually have another agent testimony. Um, we have Miss Taylor White. She is a real estate agent with Keller Williams out in the Jacksonville area. I had an opportunity to speak with Taylor and she is just absolutely phenomenal. Um, Taylor, are you on the line with us? Would you like to go ahead and share your testimony with us, please? Hey, Liz. Yes, I am. Can you guys hear me? We can. We're happy to have you. <laughs> Hey, so um, yes, guys, as Liz mentioned, I am a real, um, realtor with uh, Keller Williams. This um, platform has been absolutely phenomenal for me and my real estate business. So um, I, I was running into buyers all the time that had less than perfect credit, but I didn't have a solution for them. So I, you know, basically was telling them, go get your credit fixed and come back and see me in the next four to five months. Well, we all know nine times out of 10, once we send them out the door, they're probably not going to come back or somebody else is going to snag them before they get the opportunity to come back to us. So I was pretty much just letting money walk out the door. Um, so I, you know, I wanted to find a solution, but didn't know where to start. Well, reluctantly, Someone um, hopped in my inbox on Facebook and was like, um, hey, I see you out here killing it in the real estate game. You know, just want to know what, um, you know, do you currently have any um, measures in place for your buyers with less than perfect credit? And at the time, my answer was no, I didn't. Um, so they invited me on to a webinar um, similar to what you guys are on right now. <laughs> I was presented with the information and as soon as I seen it, I was sold. It just made perfect sense to me. On top of the fact, I filed bankruptcy several years ago um, and there was one point in time where I would never tell anybody that, like I was embarrassed of it. Um, but now, you know, just knowing that I have the opportunity to get that removed off of my credit report is a win-win for me. So when I heard the information, I saw how it could um, help to excel my real estate business, help me to provide an additional solution for my clients with less than perfect credit. You know, it was just a win-win. Plus, I get to get my own credit fixed for free. So it was, it was no denying it. Um, you know, so this, like I said, this platform has been amazing during the height of the pandemic when real estate was slow. It was actually um, this business that still allowed me to uh, pay uh, my bills without falling behind. Um, and my credit score has gone up about 70 points um, in, in the last three months. Um, so again, guys, this platform is absolutely amazing. If you are a realtor on here and you don't have a solution for your clients, I would definitely recommend you taking advantage of what we have to offer. Um, there is nothing 
like um, this platform around that I have seen on top of the fact I get paid for helping my clients anyway. So I'm pretty much a one-stop shop. I help you fix your credit, you know, four to five months, I help you buy your home. I actually have several customers right now that are currently going through uh, the credit repair program that will be ready to uh, purchase homes this summer. So um, again, Liz, thanks for inviting me on. Guys, um, definitely this will elevate your real estate business. I'm telling you, um, definitely take advantage of it. Um, again, thanks, Liz, for having me on and you guys have an awesome night. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Taylor, for sharing that. Um, before I go on to my last slide, I wanted to actually just pull up something else really quickly. Because I know we talk about the services all the time. But as a realtor, are you guys really utilizing all of the services for your clients? So I want to say this was in the... Um, this is more recently where we added, we've always had Credit My Rent, but did you know that we actually upgraded Credit My Rent to where they are reporting to two credit bureaus now instead of just one? So I'm gonna share this with you guys. So if you're not utilizing Credit My Rent or the secured credit card, you're kind of selling yourself short, make sure your clients are signing up for this. This is extremely cheap. They're reporting to both Equifax and TransUnion for as low as $10 a month. That's going to show up and boost their credit score. So essentially it allows them to go back up to two years and add that rental history onto their credit profile because you know, you just pay rent they don't put it on your credit unless they evict you, then guess what? It will show up on your credit, but you're not getting any sort of credit for paying your rent on time. So this company will verify your information. And once you enroll, they're able to verify that you are living where you say you are, that you're paying the rent on time. They will report it onto your credit profile. And so this You'll find on the My FES website, it's not going to be on the protection plan website. This is the dashboard. This is what it'll look like for the clients where they can check their account with the identity monitoring, their credit monitoring, where they can also reach out to the credit attorney. But this is an actual dashboard. So um, if you're a new agent here, um, you're a realtor, but you just got started. This is what um, the clients will actually get. As an agent, you get the same exact services so that you're privy to the information that they'll be seeing. And then again, like I said, you want to make sure you're taking advantage of this because obviously they're coming to you. They want to purchase a home. Their score is not where they want it to be. Utilize this, right? This is an additional service that we provide. If they have no credit, guess what you can do? You can also help them to get the um, secured credit card. The application you'll also be able to find on your website, guys. So just make sure you are utilizing all of that information that we provide to the clients when you're helping them, um, you know, with really just showing them what to do. Because like Taylor said, you know, if you say, hey, I can't help you, good luck, come, come back to me once you get your score up. Most customers will work with the first realtor that they work with. But if you come to me and say, you can't help me, but I go to someone else and they say, hey, you know what? Um, I can't help you right now, but I'm going to give you a game plan. And let's say six to 12 months, I'll be able to help you get that home. Guess what? They're going to talk about you to their friends. They're going to talk about you to their coworkers. I have a client who she actually just texted me yesterday. We closed on her home two weeks ago. She was like, hey, I have a referral. My coworker wants to buy a home. We had to wait for her. Um, initially, she wasn't ready yet, but she, we were able to get, her into, get her into a brand new, new construction home. And the reason I'm bringing her up is not only for the referral, but get this, y'all. Uh, we went in a contract in September of last year. We just closed. We went in under contract for 198. So she got a deal, brand new, new construction. That same house they're now selling for 240. She has instant equity. She is happy with her purchase. She just moved in two weeks ago. She's ecstatic. She sent me a referral, but she was one of these clients that I continued to follow up with her. Now I want to share with you 
before I turn it over to the next speaker is the client follow-up. So this is basically a sheet that I use. You can write it or you can put it into Excel. I, I prefer Excel because I have a CRM that I get with my broker that I'm able to export their information into because then I can see what home they're looking at. I can see when they're looking at homes and I know how to you know follow up with them accordingly. But when you're speaking with someone, you just get them enrolled. You want to really look at this information. So are they looking to make a major purchase? And even if this client isn't purchasing a home in your area, still do the same follow-up with them. Refer them out. Get the, get the referral fee. I have a few referral fees that I've referred out to South Florida because I'm from Miami, but I don't live there anymore. And um, I just really i am not able to service uh, that area since it's four hours away. But get the referral fee. You'll follow up with them. You'll say, okay, I'm going to refer you to someone who can help you when we get your score to where it needs to be. So I want you to, as far as how you're working with these clients, it may seem like you're putting more work in. What you're doing is you're helping these people. And it's going to be rewarding in the end because you're going to get more money out of it in the long run. But you truly just want to really just help them. So you want to put what they started with two-day follow-up did they did you send out your letters don't just sign them up and then you don't follow up just follow up with these clients the same way you would with your real estate clients i have my real estate clients hey um we haven't talked in a while where's your pre-approval what's going on i'm going to do the same follow-up with my my fps clients okay we're two days in have you sent out your letters did you get them yet Okay, and then I would put the date down here, like, okay, we sent the letters out here, we should expect to receive something within 30 to 45 days. I would follow up with them in two weeks. Hey, I just want to check in. Have you noticed any items that have started to fall off of your credit profile? Are you utilizing smart credit? Because you'll notice some things online before you get the actual credit report in the mail back from the credit bureaus. All right, cool. I'm going to follow up with them at two months. How's it going? What's going on with your credit profile? What items have been deleted? Have you done your second round? At 62 days after enrolling, they're gonna get a second round of disputes. Okay, you'll be receiving another set of letters in the mail or um, online or however you get them in your portal. I would put that date down here. Okay, so they did one dispute here, they did another dispute here, and this is as needed. Not all of these clients are gonna need all of these disputes. Did they, um, send the responses back because what happens oftentimes is these clients will get the responses, but they may not send it in. I'm sending you a text. Hey, make sure that you send that email in. And, but guess what? When you send it, send it to this email, but CC me on it so I can make sure that it was received by them and I can call and follow up. I can check your profile, see what items were deleted. So you want to just make sure that you're following up with your clients. You can put this however you want, but this is essentially the sheet that I've been using. You can use it, like I said, on Excel spreadsheet. You can incorporate it into your CRM. And then did you sign them up for credit by rent? Look, it's on here. Did you sign them up for a secured credit card? Do they have any credit? Are you giving them different tips on what they can do to help get their credit profile? Do you have a grandma, an uncle, or someone who has good credit can, that can add you as an authorized user onto the credit profile? The goal is to help them get their score up because they're looking to purchase for a reason, right? And then you can put your notes in here. And that's essentially my follow-up process for the, the real estate buyers that I have that are also my clients with FPS because I do have several buyers in the Tampa market right now. Um, we're probably, I'd say maybe two to three months out from where we're able to get them pre-approved. They're on their last disputes. I have two of them right now. And that really concludes my portion of the presentation. I just want to give you guys that information again. If you have any questions, just go ahead and um, put it in the chat. We'll also try to open it up as well um, for Q&A. Now, that concludes my portion. I want to go ahead and open it up for the next speaker. When I think of Mr. Tony Camilleri, y'all, y'all just don't know, he is phenomenal. He is a senior vice president with this company. So he's already doing multiple six figures with his business. He is a seven figure earner. I'm sorry, he's a seven figure earner. And he's been in real estate for over 20 years. So when I tell you, I look up to him, Tony is killing it and he is, humble as they come because when I called him, I called him on Monday. Today's Thursday. I was like, hey, Tony, listen, I have this idea for us to put together a webinar on how we can help the realtors in FES to elevate their business. And he is so humble. He was like, yes, of course, I can do it. 
And so here he is on the webinar with us today. He is a seven figure earner with FBS. He has, like I said, over 20 years of experience with real estate. He has over 400 realtors on his team in real estate. Not, I'm not talking about an FBS. I'm talking about with his brokerage right now. He is a wealth of knowledge, y'all. So definitely make sure you are taking notes that you are listening to everything that he has to say. I know I'm going to be taking notes because I know I still have a lot to learn from Tony. So at this time, Mr. Tony Camilleri, are you on the call? I am, Liz. Can you hear me okay? Of course. Thank you so much. Awesome. Awesome. Well, listen, man, great job, man. You gave some great information. Uh, man, I was taking notes on what you were talking about. Hey, we can all learn from each other and that's some great stuff. I mean, you, you hit some incredible points and I uh, just want to give it back to you. I mean, you have really, I mean, you've done amazing in FES. I mean, you're a top leader as a vice president. I mean, guys, listen, Liz, Liz does over $1.2 million a year in just FES business. I mean, that's just, that's the minimum. That's incredible. I mean, who can, you know, you think about running a business where you're doing millions of dollars in, you know, in revenue, that's, that's incredible. And a mother and a wife and running an FES business. So our uh, in a real estate business now. So, you know, congratulations to you on all your success and uh, the way you've been killing real estate is so exciting to see you, uh, you know, on social media and hear all your successes. And I uh, just wanted to say congratulations to you for sure. And uh, it's a pleasure to join this, uh, this webinar with you. I know we're going to, pro we're providing some great information and um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here and let's see here. Okay, Liz, just make sure you tell me if I got this, you know, technology is not my thing. Okay, let's see here. I'm already. You're high tech, Tony. Okay. You have share okay. screen. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. So, Listen, guys, um, I'm excited just to share information about this. And this is something I'm passionate about is helping others to, to succeed. And, you know, I've been in real estate, as Liz said, for uh, for 20 years. I started off as a real estate investor. Uh, I was just flipping houses and uh, doing some rentals. And then I got into the residential sales. But I always had other businesses that I was working on. Um, I had a, a contracting company where I was doing, you know, painting and carpet cleaning and I uh, have uh, ownership in some restaurants as well. So I've always believed in multiple streams of income. And uh, a lot of realtors I've met, they also do, do as well. And so when I was presented with this, uh, with FES, that was uh, 2012. And I'll be very honest with you, I was not looking for another opportunity. I was really in the heat of my businesses. I was in the summer with, the, with real estate, which was you know, really booming uh, for me at the time. And so I really was kind of like, yeah, I'm not really interested in looking at anything right now. But the person said, what are you doing with buyers that don't qualify you know, for, uh, for they don't qualify for a mortgage based on their credit. And I thought, well, at the time I was doing nothing to be quite honest with you. I was the realtor that said, look, Hey, you have bad credit. You know, I, I can't help you, you know, go, go talk to your lender or figure it out. I, credit repair wasn't really that big of a thing back then. Like I didn't know where to send somebody to fix their credit. Uh, nowadays it's a little bit more accessible, but then I thought, wait, as a business person, I'm leaving money on the table. Now, I don't know about you guys, but who wants to leave money on the table? Nobody, right? I mean, you shouldn't want to. As a business person, we want to capture as much as we can. So I thought, okay, great. So I started off and I said, I'm going to help some clients. I enrolled a client and the first 90 days, he went from, I remember it was a 556 to a 680 and he qualified and was able to purchase a home. And I thought, wow, this is, this is working, right? Now, I want to also preface, I didn't need the credit repair. I know I've had some people say, well, I don't need credit repair. And so I don't want to sign up. I'm like, well, yeah, you don't need to be a house. You still sell houses as a real estate agent, right? I mean, so it doesn't matter if you need it. It's, it matters if there's a market for the service. So that's uh, so I definitely joined. I had good credit. I helped. I remember that person to help get started. And that was exciting. But I'm going to give you one of, you know, a couple of secrets, I think, is follow the system. You know, if whoever brought you into this business, they know the system and you want to follow that because I didn't try to recreate the wheel. Okay, so my story is I jumped off, had some great success because I was doing my other businesses and I literally jumped in and they said, do this, make a list of names, you know, go to this training, watch this, you know, actually we didn't have webinars back then, but we would watch a video or go to a seminar and I just followed it to the T. That's why I had success. I didn't question what they were telling me to do. And so I didn't have to think, I didn't have to go through those extra mistakes and I was having success. So I'm going to share with you some of the things that I've been doing throughout the last um, eight years, eight and a half years now with FES to build these together. So guys, look, here's the thing. 
there are two, probably two types of realtors on here. And if you're in mortgage, I know there may be some loan officers on here as well, because they go, they kind of are in the same bucket. But you're either sitting here saying, Tony, I have a lot of leads, a lot of people I'm talking to. My business is going great with real estate, but I do have some opportunities where people can't qualify. And I really want to find a system and I want to get them in that program to fix their credit so I can make some extra money, help them get qualified and then get a commission, right? Or you're saying, man, Tony, I would like, I need to create some extra income. My real estate business is not where I want it to be. I would like to create more real estate sales uh, by helping people fix their credit. So you're either one of those, probably one of those two buckets. And we're going to talk to both of you here tonight. So um, again, you know, I want to also let you know that I've, uh, I've built up a large team in real estate. I actually have a six figure residual income just from my real estate company at, at EXP. So I don't necessarily need, I mean, the income, but yet now my, my FES income, as Liz mentioned, I hit the seven figure club. It's like, I could let either one go, but I'm like, they work hand in hand. So I get to build both of those together. And we are going to talk about how you can do the same thing. Okay. So let's talk about the mindset of a realtor. Well, real, I mean, obviously in real estate, we're used to making phone calls, right? That's what we do. Now, everyone has a different approach. Some people are banging out the phones from, you know, seven to 10 in the morning or eight to 12, you know, calling on expired listings or for sale by owners or just their database. So we're used to making phone calls. Well, that's same thing with FES. And the great part about this is, is that they're in the same lane. Understand, we understand rejection, right? As real estate agents, you have to have thick skin. You don't get upset about a no. We're not afraid of no's, right? So that's not an issue, right? Or if it is, we, you know, we're working on that. We're, it's always a work in progress, right? And that's where FES also, guys, if you tap into the program, the, uh, the training that we have at FES, and I don't know, again, I'm sure there's, there's 250 people on here. Some of you have maybe gone to some trainings. Maybe some of you haven't. If you have not, I implore you to check it out because you know what it's going to do? It is absolutely going to help you sell more houses. It's going to help you to be a better real estate agent because we teach success in addition to teaching people how to be successful in FES. Now, we also have to understand as realtors, we have to invest in our business. Now, if you're not a realtor on here, hopefully you're going to pick up some things as well because see, if you this is your first time owning your own business, which FE, an FES business is your own, right? You are running that as your own business. And so, but what you have to do is invest money and invest time. And so I know I've started a lot of people that have never owned a business. They're a W-2 employee. They go to work and just get a paycheck. They have a little bit of a challenge investing in marketing or investing in tools. Well, in real estate, that's what we do. You know, if you want to be successful in real estate, you have to do that. And if you're not having success in real estate, that's a tip for you as well to make sure you start taking some of your dollars that you make from your commissions and reinvesting it back into your business. Okay. You should be investing at least 10% back into your business every time you get paid. Now, here's some exciting news. You guys want some really exciting news? You guys, as a real estate agent, you have a competitive advantage. And we're going to be talking more about that. Anybody can build an FES business. Quite honestly, we have people from, as a matter of fact, one of our Pinnacles uh, senior vice president was picking up garbage in Miami, you know, working for the city. And now he's a multiple seven figure earner, earner. So it doesn't matter your experience, but I have to say as a real estate agent, you have an advantage. And so anytime you can come into a business that has unlimited potential and have an advantage, you want to take, you want to go for it, right? You want to learn what are those advantages. And so we're going to talk about that. Now, let's talk about maximizing, uh, maximizing the FES products, right? Well, Liz did a great job talking about what those products are. And so you want to make sure that in, in terms of maximizing them, you're doing advertising. Again, as a real estate agent, you should be advertising in multiple ways, right? We call it multiple funnels, multiple buckets of marketing where you're creating leads from over here, from over here, from over here. Well, that's the same thing we do with FES, okay? But in real estate, you're going to end up talking to people that need our services in order to buy a home. Now, of course, word of mouth. I'm going to give you guys a little, this is some marketing, no matter what you do. You should be, you should not be a secret agent because unless you're a real actual secret agent for the government, you want to let people know what you do, right? And so this is, if you, any store you go to, but when you're talking, you're checking out, they're going to the grocery store, they're checking out. I mean, I know some people still actually go to the grocery store, right? Instead of using Instacart, but you are there while they're ringing them up, just say, ask them, how's your day going? What do you do? And then when you get ready to leave, say, hey, listen, do you mind if I give you my business card? You might know someone that could use my services. And they're going to say, 
what do you do? <laughs> and you're just going to say, well, hey, listen, you know, I help people get into homes and I also help people fix credit. So if they have challenges, you know, help them get into homes. So that's something that I do is, you know, passionate about helping people improve credit and home ownership. Well, they're going to say six out of 10 times, they're going to say, oh, wow. Hey, listen, can you help me? <laughs> right. They're going, they are going to need the services. And then many times they're going to need to have, they're going to want to buy a home or know someone that's buying a home. Everywhere you go, you should be using that line. I don't care when you're at a restaurant, when you're at the store, you're at the dry cleaners, wherever you go, guys, don't be a secret agent. Talk to everyone. You should be a marketing machine. And here's what's cool. Remember I mentioned, again, as a realtor, you have a competitive advantage because when you talk to them, you just told them two things that are in the same lane and then they're going to remember you and they're going to they're going to use you as for, for their services, right? So it's a little different, right? Of course, people do multiple things, but if you are selling weight loss or vitamins and then you're a real estate agent, those don't go together. So they're not going to remember. They're going to be like, do they sell vitamins? They sell weight loss? They, they're, how, they're going to be confused. But real estate and credit go together, guys. So you can talk about it and you're going to, you get a two for one out there. Okay. Now, car magnets. This is something that's funny. Mine, one of mine just blew, uh, blew off and the other one had been gone for a few months. But listen, car magnets work. I've had so many people call me off my car magnet or stop me or roll, I'm, they're rolling their window down, ask me, hey, can I call them? Like, call me. The number's on the car, on the car, right? Guys, be a rolling billboard. And you know what you could do is you could even, pay your relatives to put the magnets on their car. You can do it for real estate. I, I put a real estate magnet and a credit magnet. People call you. Guys, always be thinking of ways to market yourself. Now, again, you could ask other agents to put a sign in the yard, right? I've done this where I put a, hey, if, you know, uh, credit restoration, put it out there on the sign, improve your credit, put a phone number. You can put that next to your real estate signs that are out there. Why? People that want to buy houses, sometimes they might be ready with credit, but they may call on that credit sign. Right now, of course, you could do cold calling, you know, hey, whatever it takes to make it in real estate. I know a lot of us don't like that. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like cold calling. So I'll be very transparent. I don't do a lot of cold calling, but that's something that people do. So if you're used to it, why would you not? If you do it for real estate, do it for credit. Right now, connecting with listing agents, especially um, agents with leasing and REO properties. That's an, uh, another great, you know, real estate owned properties, right? Foreclosures. Um, a lot of times, you know, people buying those have credit challenges or people that are leasing most definitely um, have, um, you know, have credit challenges a lot, right? So you want to leverage your database. Guys, you have people that you've in real estate, right? You've sold houses. You have real database of realtors that you've dealt with. You want to call those people and just let them know what you do. Obviously, you can remind them that you're a realtor, but then also let them know that you're helping people improve credit so you can leverage that database. Now, repurposing your marketing, marketing efforts. I've kind of been talking about that along the way, but what does repurposing mean? Well, as we talked about, you should be investing money into your real estate business if you're trying to grow, right? I, unfortunately, I see a lot of people, and I hope if you're out there and you've been struggling with real estate, that you're you know, taking something from this as well, because we want you to make money all over the place in real estate and FES, but you have to invest in your business. And if you're doing that, spending money to generate buyers or sellers, those are people that you can talk to about credit. Let them know. Let them know what you do, and then they could potentially refer you business, even if they don't need those services, right? And so, obviously, you're going to have different buckets. You're going to have people that are either ready to, um, to uh, buy now, or they're, they're thinking about buying in the future. And a lot of times, the reasons people are looking to buy in the future is, one, they don't have the down payment money, or two, they're working on their credit. Now, here's something um, a lot of you, if you're not aware, um, we do have a referral portal in our uh, back office, okay? And so what that referral portal is, is a way for you, say for example, you run across a real estate agent or a mortgage uh, loan officer, and you talk to them about our services and you talk to them about the opportunity to make money with our company. If they are not interested at the time in becoming an agent, they can become a referral source, it's free. You can literally type in their information, it will hit submit, it will send them a link. They now have a portal that they can refer clients to, and then they can also track the progress of their client. And so when, when you, if you, and if they just happen to tell you about a client, you enter them in the system, you just link them up with that referral source and now they can track it. Now, of course, they're not looking at their credit score. So I wanna let, let you guys know, due to privacy issues, we don't keep track of that. 
What we do is we keep track of the deletions. So for example, you send me Barb Smith, enter in the program. She has 20 items that are being challenged by uh, credit. She sends her letters back to FES, United Credit. We have 10 deletions. You as the referral source can go into your portal, look up Barb Smith and you'll see, oh wow, she had 20, but now she has 10 deletions. Man, maybe I should call her and have her you know, look at her credit score because again, through FES, we have smart credit. Again, guys, this is why you need to know about our products and services and understand all the resources we have, because now you can go back to the client. The realtor can go back to the client and say, hey, check your smart credit. Where are you at? They may look and see they're in great shape to go ahead and be uh, qualify for a mortgage. And so guess what this also does? Guys, if you have someone that's a real estate agent or a loan officer that you've set up as a referral source, right, just by using that, that free portal, what happens, what do you think would happen if they sent you five clients, right? Six clients and they're seeing success. They're thinking, well, wait a minute, why do I keep sending them to you? I could become an agent. And so what happens is if you're doing your job following up and you can go in and look at the progress as well and go, geez, hey, listen, John, you know, you, you know, three of your clients have, have seen great uh, increases. I mean, at least they've seen some deletions. You should check with them and have them check their smart credit, see where they're at. Now you can have that conversation. Hey, John, I just want to remind you, you could be an agent and you could be making the commissions from this transaction instead of myself. And then you could be like, hey, listen, I'll keep the money. It's no problem, right? I, I, I'll keep helping your clients. And so everybody keeps winning. But sometimes people might say, shoot, you know what? I could use that extra money. And so that's really, really important to use that referral link, man. That, that's going to help you to grow, uh, to grow your business for sure. Now, um, Liz talked about Credit My Rent. I want to talk about this really quick because this is something, once Credit My Rent added the second bureau, and now, as, as, she, as Liz mentioned, that we now have Equifax and TransUnion that report the rent to the credit uh, bureaus, that is going to increase their mid score. And as all of you in real estate know, right, we're always focused on what that middle score is. So if we can increase that, most likely we're going to get them to get qualified much quicker. Now, because of, I've been in the industry and I know I've talked to a lot of people and because credit repair has become a little bit more common, right? There's different outlets, Lexington Law and a few others out there, or people do credit on their own or, or lenders sometimes do the credit repair, but no one's doing what we do with Credit My Rent. So what I do is I lead in with Credit My Rent when I call or talk to a realtor or a loan officer. And all I'm doing, guys, I'm thinking, well, listen, if we're in sales and we know everything is a numbers game, I want to put the numbers in my favor, right? So I want the statistics to play out for me the, the, at the highest rate. And so I know that I'm not going to get any pushback when I talk about credit my rent. So when I lead in and I ask them, hey, listen, are you familiar with the program that we can get your rental uh, where you can get rental history applied to a credit report for two of the three credit bureaus? They're going to say no. And then I'm going to say, listen, do you have a few minutes I can talk to you about that? Because this could help get your clients uh, improve their credit score, help them get a better rate, even if they don't have that bad of credit. Or if they do have bad credit, this could put them in a situation where they can get qualified. Guess what I've done? I've opened the door. So one, I can either get a, a quick Zoom meeting or if I can get in their office and talk to them, tell them it's only going to take five, 10 minutes, or I just talk to them right there. And guess what I do now? Of course, I'm then going to mention the protection plan in our credit restoration product because I've already opened the door. I'm already established myself as an expert in that field and I'm adding value. So there's a way to now talk to them. And now you are an, you're an all around service. So the people that are just offering credit repair, if they have someone, they aren't offering our credit, the credit, my rent services, you become more beneficial to them. And now they have a one stop shop. So that's why I always lead with credit, my rent. Now I'm about to give you guys a really good nugget here. And I, you know what, I hate to, I don't like taking credit for something, but I don't think about it. But, you know, this is something I, I have to admit. It was one of my agents. She's a vice president, Kendra Pack. She's a, a real estate broker. Um, she's uh, with me at EXP as well now. And she is a, a v, vice president at FES. She said, listen, the MLS, we as realtors, competitive advantage, right? I told you guys that earlier as a realtor, you can use the MLS because what does it have? It has a list of real estate agents. Now, I know for those of you that aren't real estate agents, you're like, oh, man, well, that's okay. Get with the realtor. Maybe they can hook you up with that. But there, that's the roster for all of the offices, all of the agents that are in the MLS. 
you can go ahead and call them and lead in with credit my rent. Or if you're more you're more comfortable with leading in with the credit restoration product with, with the protection plan, that's fine too. But that's a list that you can call. Now, again, that would be probably considered cold calling. Like, you know, I, I, I look at it as a warm call for that because they're in real estate. This is something that can benefit them. I already know that they can use this, this service for their clients. So I don't have a problem. And I have, I have done that and it's worked really well. Or Kendra's done text messaging campaigns where she'll just sit there and just copy and paste a message to people in the, that are, she gets the list from MLS and just copies and pastes it and asks them if they've heard, you know, heard of the services. So she's got, you know, some, some ways to market. You can have different ways, either talk about credit repair or talk about credit my rent, right? Or you could even talk to realtors about, hey, would you like to learn a way to generate more leads for free? <laughs> and so people like that because most realtors, we get very leery of things when people call us because we know it's going to cost something, right? You guys know that. You get a phone call and it's like, you can just tell the voice, the tone, what it sounds like. You're like, oh Lord, about to get pitched something I got to spend money on, right? But here, this is a free way for you to generate leads. So use that MLS for that. How about this, guys? What if you, have you, any of you guys done leases? right? You had clients that had a lease that you, you got into a lease situation. Well, yeah. why not call all of those people and tell them about credit my rent and then see where they're at and ask them, you know, ask them about home ownership, ask them if how their credit is, you know, if they like to get their rental history put on their credit report so they can build positive credit history. So those are built in clients. You've already built a relationship with them. Why not call them? And so uh, Liz is actually, uh, she's covered, you know, a little bit about social media, but I want to show you guys something real. This will be real quick. I'm not going to see if I can get this to come up here. Uh, I want to show you something because I bet you guys have not seen this because I know a lot of people don't even know it's in their back office. I want to see if I can share this real quick. All right, Liz, can you see that? Yes, I can. Okay. Thank you. So guys, this is in your back office. There are tons of these. And I'm, I'm just showing you because we're in real estate. Who wants to buy a house in 2021, but their credit is holding them back? Listen, you can hold this and post it. This is going to do what? It's going to create more business for you on both sides. Remember, it's in the same lane. You're using the same efforts. This is a way for you to generate more real estate sales and more credit restoration clients and credit my rent clients. There are tons of these. Um, I know there's CS, I don't want to go. There's another one who wants to buy a home in 2021. So they have a few different ones um, here. So just go back there and take a look at that. So I just wanted to really uh, share that with you real quick. And I'm going to go back and then we're going to wrap up here. Let's see here. One second. Okay. Okay. And then guys, listen, if you guys are, uh, if you're a listing agent, right? If you're a listing agent or a buyer's agent, it doesn't matter. If you are a listing agent, people are showing your, oh, let's see, is this sharing? Wait, let me see here. Yeah, I can there we go. See. Okay. If you're a listing agent, guess what happens? People call you. I'm sure you have a showing time where you have a list of all the agents that are showing your houses. Those are all people that need to know about our services. So those are, you know, again, call those people on that list and share with them what we what you do. And then of course, if they're taking out buyers to show houses, they probably have some buyers that need credit repair as well. Now, also if you're a buyer's agent and you're out in the homes, well, we all see those cards piling up on the countertop, right? From, from the people that have been through the house already. Why not take a picture of those cards? Or to be honest with you, you know, one day I was taking pictures, I'm like, you know what? No one ever uses these cards because I have a listing. I just I just throw them out or I never even do anything with them. So would, <laughs> just take the card and give them a phone call, right? So either way, take the card or take a picture. Guys, you need to start thinking about all the different ways you can generate leads and think about what I've just told you. This doesn't really take any extra time. Take the card and make the call on your way home and just tell them about your services. You have to drive home anyway. This is a way for you to incorporate FES into your real estate business and not take a lot of time. Now, I'm going to also say this, though. We know in real estate, if you're a successful real estate agent, that you must time block. You must have certain times to do your certain activities, right, to make, stay focused and stay organized to be a successful realtor. Well, what you would do and what I did is I made sure that I allotted so much time for FES. Now, I'm not talking about carving out half your day because I know you might be saying, Tony, my goal is to sell more houses, but I'd like to create an extra income stream. Perfect. Can you at least give one hour a day? maybe one hour every other day to get started. And if you do that consistently, I can tell you that you're going to see a lot of success. Okay. And so I want you to understand, I want you to just get this mindset that this is a part of what you do as real estate to increase, get more commissions 
and make more money in addition to what we do. And then when you start talking about bringing on other FES agents to multiply that income to where Liz, like a Liz doing 1.2 million, she doesn't do that on her own in, in FES. She has a team. And guess how she does that and manages children, husband, business. She plugs them into a system. And so I really want you to understand that you have to utilize and leverage that system and then encompass this into your everyday business with, with real estate. And you are going to see a lot more closings, a lot more people uh, needing helping people fix their credit so you can make that additional income. To me, guys, this is a no-brainer. If you know real estate agents, becoming an FES agent is a no-brainer. Talking about credit my rent, no brainer. You should be in anyone that has or is in renting, they should be signed up for credit my rent. Unless they're sitting on an 825 credit score, right? I mean, they're like, okay, how much higher can you get it? It doesn't really benefit me uh, mortgage wise, but everybody should be in that program. So I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to cover. But uh, Liz, I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing my screen and go ahead and we can you know, open it up for questions. And uh, yes. yeah, hopefully that was beneficial. That was extremely beneficial. So um, for those realtors, go ahead, look in your MLS. You can search those expired listing rules that are coming up. If you have leases, like utilize it. We pay for that. And it is not cheap. So I definitely want to give it up to you, Tony. Thank you. Thank you so much, y'all. We are going to be where the money reside all 2021. Now we're going to open it up for questions. So go ahead and unmute yourself. Ask your question. We do have over 200 people on here, but... I want you guys to really take advantage of the fact that we have both of us on here. So go ahead, unmute, ask your questions. Hi. Hi. I guess I should do my video. Um, hi, um, I'm out here in California and I'm not a, a broker, so it might be different. Um, I did put it in the chat, you know, asking if you could sell credit my rent without UCES. Um, and you wrote, yes, you can do it. Um, but do they get a different price and do you get commission on that? Or is that just an entree for you guys then to, um, get a, you know, get them into a real estate deal. So you don't mind. So, yeah, I did respond to you and I said, yes. Um, so you do still need to be an agent to sell that product, but they don't have to purchase credit, my rent and the credit pair. And yes, you do get commissions off of the, um, off of them signing up for credit my rent you also get it for the secured credit card um and then it just you know it's the, like tony said it's a conversational way to get them into a real estate deal um so i hope that answers your question tony because you know, i wrote in today to another group and they said i couldn't sign them up without uces no that's not true yeah no liz you answer that i mean that's exactly right no uh Credit My Rent is a is, a, is an a la carte product. That's totally separate. Uh, right. As a matter of fact, uh, that's I'm glad you brought that up because it's something that uh, we actually have a separate um, URL for that. Credit it's uh, Credit My Rent uh, forward slash. I think it's creditmyrent.com or .net uh, forward slash, and then your username for FES. So you actually can market that outside of. Uh, your protection plan site, your UCS site, or your FES site. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. No, because I asked somebody else today and they said, absolutely not. So that's fabulous because Credit My Rent is a great product. Absolutely. You know what? I apologize for not knowing that, that's, that link because I'll be honest, I just, I normally sign people up, but there is a Credit My Rent. I'm seeing if I can figure it out real quick. It's like creditmyrent.net or something like that uh, forward slash the same username you use for FES. There is link but yeah you go to your my fes and then here's several links so it's it'll be separate too for the secured credit card they can do that out of card okay perfect thank you so much great yeah. presentation thank you thank you thank you sure sure all right charlotte uh, charlotte you're an agent with fes uh yes oh okay awesome yeah get that um uh, we could figure it out after but yeah there is a credit my rent uh, url that's yours it's just like your other two sites oh my God, I, had no I was going to tell people I'm, i was going to say just google credit my rent and go do it on your own no like, no way you get paid <laughs> wait you, here wait guys like this is actually exciting because if you sell the two years back you get a 40 dollar commission and like, that's what people need is two years yes and it's only 140 dollars, and you're getting 40 bucks that's like great money and then you're helping people improve their credit get their rental history and then you do, I mean, we get a residual too, by the way, we get 50 cents a month. Now you mm -hmm. might say, well, that's not a lot, but imagine if you have your agents doing it and your clients do it next thing, you know, that adds up. I mean, who knows how much that could be over time. So yeah, definitely use the credit, my rent URL. I mean, you can still use your, my FES site, but here's the thing. Here it is right here. 
So it's okay. creditmyfriends.com there you go. Thanks. forward slash your, um, what your username is going to be, and it'll take them directly here. Perfect. And that's a great, I'm glad you brought that up because you know what, sometimes if you go ahead and you want to, and you know, get someone signed up for that credit, my rent, you might now want to send them something that has a business opportunity on it because that sometimes people their thinking is a little different. They go, Oh, I don't want to, what's this business? I don't know. But if you just send them credit, my rent, your credit, my rent, not the general one. Cause it's actually, here's, what's really cool. It's more money if they go to credit, my rent. So they're going to want to come through you because it's only nine 95 instead of 14 95. Right, right. Right. Yeah. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. They may not need credit restoration is my, or the, the credit in my rent could do make the big difference. Absolutely. And that's the thing we got to get the education to all of our FES agents, let them know that you should, that's why I talk about credit my rent a lot and because they may not have delete, they don't need deletions. They just need to use, get their rental history right. on the credit report. Perfect. So, you. you know what? I wanted to real quick, you know what? I, um, I realized she's still on here. I, want, I meant to introduce her. I know we're going over a little bit on time, but really quick, I want it because this is important. This is a really cool story. This woman, she's a, a realtor out of Maryland and she was, she had a listing and she's going to tell you the story about how she became aware of FES. And she is a sales director uh, working on a regional sales director, helping a lot of people. Um, she's still active in real estate. And I want to introduce Miss Keely Rich. Are you there? I sure am, Tony. Hey, everybody. I want to appreciate your time. So I'm going to make this quick. Let me give it back to Liz, fan, fan, Tony Camilleri, and even the incredible guy that opened up the call. This has been an amazing call today. Hey, everyone, listen, I'm an associate broker with EXP, and I'm happy to say I'm involved with that with Tony as well. Woo, woo. Anyway, you know, I had to give Tony a quick plug because he's one of my mentors, and I am so blessed to know him. But real yeah. quick, I was selling a house in Maryland. And uh, the real estate agent who represented the buyer, he's like, I just wanted to let you know, I helped this guy fix his credit to buy this house. And I remember thinking, yeah, yeah, brother's trying to sell me something I don't want to hear. And I kind of shut down a little bit. But deep down in my spirit, I'm going to be totally transparent. My score was like a 580 something and it had been sitting there for a minute. And it was because of a student loan and a, a utility bill I had on there. So I was real skeptical. I was like, let me go ahead and try it. Next thing I know, Credit Karma's hit me up saying, hey, congratulations, your score's going up. I'm thinking like, yeah, right. You just want me to click on your website so you can sell me a high interest product. The score went up 111 points. That's how it all began for me. I was like, now hold up. If this happened for me, wow. maybe it can happen for somebody else. So I got so excited. And I ended up looking more into the company. And next thing I knew, I became an agent in FES. It's been over a year now. I'm very, very excited. And all I can tell you is if you're smart, you're going to say to yourself, I'm dealing with these people anyway. I'm connected to these people anyway. I might as well put them in my funnel anyway and stop giving them over to somebody who's not getting the job done. You become part of the solution. You get involved in the company and get paid while you figure it out. It just makes sense to run it alongside your business. For once, somebody's not going to look at you sideways saying, what you selling? You doing this, you doing that. Somebody said to me, this makes sense. It actually works with what you're doing. Awesome, Keely. Happy for you. Back to you, Tony. Thank you so much for that moment. Oh, wait, you wow. had the story, Keely, with the listing. Oh, okay. So all I was telling you was the agent that represented the buyer was already in FES. Help that buyer restore his credit. Help that buyer buy my listing. I was the listing agent. So that was all she wrote. And of course, he was not a secret agent. The buyer's agent told me about this company. And I got started skeptical, though, until my score went up. So that's the story on how I got started. So like, that's going to be your story for all of y'all. And all I can tell you is a new agent that just got in was because she was the buyer's agent on one of my listings and she bought in another realtor and she bought in another realtor. Y'all don't get lost in the game. Stay woke. Stay woke. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love your energy. Great stuff. Thank you, Keely. That was awesome. Yeah. What I mean, guys, that's the whole point. Don't be a secret agent. Talk to people. We're out here doing business. It's all in the same lane. So why not share it? And then you can get more business and make more money. And now Keely's do, building both businesses, you know, from home. And uh, how, how exciting is that? But any other questions? Tony, I have a question if I may. Sure thing. Um, I don't mind cold calling at all. Um, I did it for years um, for like selling cruises and stuff. Um, what would be like this after you call? I know probably the proper way is to set up a meeting, you know, five or 10, 15 minutes, either over the phone, Zoom or in person. 
Um, what would be the next step after that, like a webinar or, cause I know a lot of times they're not available like late in the evening, seven, eight o'clock to jump on the webinars or just show them the video. You know, honestly, there's ho however you can do. It. I mean, the video is great. I mean, I'm, I'm always a proponent of if it's a real estate agent or a loan officer, I like, I don't really send videos to them. I, I like to have a conversation. I, I, I've, I don't think I've ever sent a video to a loan officer or a real estate agent because it's not that long of a conversation. You know, really what I'm doing is when I'm calling, I'm asking them, Hey, listen, and again, I, I, my, my approach is, is starting off with credit of my rent. And I ask people, I'm like, Hey, listen, are you, are you aware that there's a program to get rental history put on um, your client's credit reports to help them boost their credit score for two of the three bureaus? And so they're most, they almost always say no. And then, then I say, Hey, listen, you have five, five or 10 minutes right now to, I can explain to you, you know, how the services work and how you can help more people, you know, improve their credit with the service. And then if they, you know, depends if I caught them, you know how it is. Sometimes you catch people and they're like, well, I was just grabbing the call and I don't have time now. Well then, yeah, I set up a time to do a zoom meeting, or if it's local, obviously dealing I don't everyone's got different situations with COVID if they're open to meeting I like meeting I just feel like if you can meet someone and you're trying to build a referral source that could send you business for years to come I like to meet with them if not then I just set up a zoom meeting but that's how I lead in now now with credit my rent I lead in I you know I lead in with that and then of course on that same call I'm going to then explain all the services that we have and then talk about the, the um, credit restoration service now another way you can do it is if you know because if they say Oh, well, you know, I don't really deal with a lot of renters. You could say, well, listen, do you ever run across people that aren't, don't qualify for a mortgage based on their credit score? And then they're, of course, going to say yes. And then you go, and then same spiel. Then you just say, listen, do you have five or 10 minutes now? I can explain those services or, hey, can we set up a time later tonight or tomorrow? So that's really, that's really how I, I do it. I leave with credit my rent and then go into the credit repair if they don't, you know, if they don't, they say they don't deal with a lot of renters. Okay. Cool. Thank you, sir. Sure thing. Hey, Tony, how are you? Good. How are you doing, Diane? I'm fine. Um, I have a question in reference to, okay. So initially, um, when we do the credit consultations, we basically, you know, go by the asking, do they have a credit karma account, which is a Vantage score. And by the time they get to the lender, it's a whole, totally different score. So um, once the lender becomes involved, then they run the credit and then they put them on that uh, credit simulator and they'll say, well, this is what you're going to need to boost your score. Is there anything that you would suggest that we can do to alleviate that? Because a lot of times the lender will recommend, oh, if you pay this down, your score will go up or whatever the case may be. But that's money that they can use towards closing or whatever the case may be. You understand what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah, I mean, so, yeah, I mean, if the lender gets involved and they start telling them those things, I mean, obviously, you know, it depends on the relationship there. I mean, but if they need negatives removed, I mean, I just let them know that what the possibilities are. I mean, if they have negatives on their credit, then obviously, you know, I'm going to tell them this is a service can help to challenge those items, help potentially clean those things up. And I would say potentially, right? Because we don't have a guarantee the items get deleted. And then I let them know that if that happens and that they're going to see an increase in their score. But also, of course, as a, you know, we are consulting with that client, we have to let them know that there are multiple components of your credit score. So you may have to pay certain things down. So there is a, you know, really it's a relationship. You have to kind of work with that loan officer in conjunction to really, and if they're telling them, the loan officer tells them, hey, I can get you qualified and that's their goal, then you know what? I mean, some you, sometimes they may, have, they may have to go that route. I mean, I'm not going to get in the way of them closing the deal and getting their house if that's if they don't have to get deletions in order to get that done. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So, yeah, you're really going to have to work with them in that and have a conversation. And, you know, you might even talk with the loan officer as well. But if they're guiding them, then the loan officer says they can qualify them, then yeah, I mean, that's, that's their goal. And if they hit their goal, then they're happy. Any Liz, you have anything else you want to add to that? I do. I do have a question. Okay. Uh, I asked the question in the group, but the answer was unclear to me or in the chat, but the answer was unclear to me. Um, 
the lenders I work with, they always tell me if you dispute um, creditors, it looks bad to the lender. And they have to go and remove all the dispute and get the true credit. So I'm just trying to figure out why is this different if y'all saying y'all disputing the credit. Okay, so um, Tony can also touch on this. So what that lender's referring to, you can't have an open dispute when you're going through the process and when you're applying and going through underwriting. So that's just going to be across the board for anybody. Like you can't have the open dispute. We don't keep disputes open. The goal is to get a deletion, but you need to get this part completed and be out of your disputes when you go ahead and submit your application to that lender. I hope that makes sense. So like, no, sometimes you may see some people open up disputes online and they may temporarily remove something from their credit and then their score goes up, but the dispute is still open. That's not what we're doing. The goal is to get these items completely removed. And once the dispute is off, then you apply with the loan officer. I hope that answered your question. Did anyone else have any questions before we close it out? Awesome. Well, I, I, I do. recording of this? Yes. Cool. Well, great, stu great stuff, Liz. I'm an, I, I've got another webinar I have to get prepared for. I'm actually doing a power credit here at nine o'clock. So I'm going to go get ready for that. I have to actually run out <laughs> before I get to that. So um, I appreciate you having me on here. This is a lot of fun. Great job, man. Great information you provided tonight. And I hope all of you guys got value. Put it into practice, guys. Just make sure you apply what you learned tonight. Don't be a secret agent. Get busy. Don't don't let this pass you by. We're about to go into an incredible, we're in a credible market with real estate right now. It's a great way to create income, right? Because I know you're out there and you got buyers are submitting multiple offers on multiple houses and you're not getting paid. <laughs> and so this is a way to get paid in the meantime until you finally find that deal, right? So I'm going to run, but Liz, thanks again. And we'll, uh, we'll do it again sometime. Yes, definitely have to run this back. Thank you so much, Tony. I put my cell phone in the chat because I think someone else said they had a question. So you can reach out to me. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and wrap up. I appreciate you, sir. All right. And we will have a recording of this. So um, I'll just drop my cell phone again one more time in case you lost it in the chat. So if you have any questions, just send me a text message. Uh, you don't, you don't have to call me, not right now, but you can text me and I'll get to you. Um, but I can answer your question real quick, Miss Howard. Um, yeah, I, I had thought that it started at, because uh, I'm on Central Time, and I just noticed that it was 7 o'clock Eastern Time. So, I mean, I know you're trying to go, so I know you already went through everything. So I was just seeing if I can get somebody's information so I can get more, because I am a real estate agent in Tennessee. And yeah. uh, there's going to be another webinar at 9, so like in the next 35 minutes. So who... Um, who invited you on here? You can get with them, but I also put myself when I can send you the details for it, but you can get on that webinar and that one will give you the details. We will have a recording of this so that we can follow up with everyone. Okay. Awesome. I hope you have a wonderful night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome, awesome job. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Wonderful job. Thank you. Wonderful job. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank 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 you.